shut this down. What that jack did not want to work. Go. Good morning. Good morning, what are you Sleeping doing? Beauty. Well, I mean, we need this to run again. Yeah, we need this to run again. Uh, we well, put I mean, our two pallets of gold on here, too, to sell that yeah. while we're out and about. Yeah, that may not be the worst idea. I, I hope that winch is going to be alright on that trailer. Oh, it, it's only like the heaviest thing that that winch has ever pulled up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The, the wires look a little frayed. <laughs> we, we don't talk about the wires, okay? It'll be fine, understand me? Say I it with suppose. me. Yet. Going to be fine. I right, suppose. Push this right about there. Yeah, there we go. All right, she's all ready to rock and roll. I've been working on her some this morning, and I just I, I can't fix her. So we're gonna do the smart thing, and we're gonna take her to town. All right. Now. Of course, we're going to sell that gold, too. I'd get in if you are going to get in. Thank you. Uh, I am in. We're going to sell the gold, too. But if we're up there and we make enough money off that gold, I think it might be time to trade in the old uh, old dozer. She's she been good, but it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, definitely time for an upgrade. Now, that right there is enough money for me. Yeah, it's a good bit. I'm gonna unfold the ramps because we gotta get our new dump truck and get this off. I thought you said you wanted to buy a, another dozer, maybe. I mean, I we could, but let's get this thing off first. I mean, it, it don't matter what we do, we we gotta get this off and look into some more dozers. I'm gonna see if I can find a mine site that maybe has a dozer for sale because the brand new one is just out of the equation right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Come on. Try to see if you can get because that's this is gonna be way too heavy. Come on. Like let's see if we can get those like forts like stuck up underneath the blade. Come on a little bit more. Alright there. <laughs> I told you she's heavy. Oh she heavy. She got some weight. There you go. Yep, now disconnect that right there. All right. I guess we'll have them come look at it, see if they can do anything with it. Yeah. Man, that thing has I some mean, weight to pick up the back end of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a heavy machine, but that's what these old machines must be for, is their weight. Let me see if I can call around real fast, find anybody with a dozer. All right. Go. Well, Alex, all right, so I just got done talking to the man. Now, he is saying there's a D6 for sale from one of the mines, from one of the other guys who run a mine around here in this county. It's a D6. They're going to want a half a million dollars for it, though. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, that's We're what I'm saying. Broke again. We don't get no money, but we do get this. This is a little bit of like a conveyor belt that we can use to like load up all of our gold and all of our gold dirt into our uh, sluice boxes. Okay. I think we need. I think we need to go back to the mine site though and put this. At, we need to move our mine site or something like that down to the actual. Pay dirt pile and quit pushing it out for us. That all right, I'll drive this. All right, yeah, I'll load this up. Now, this is a fancy one, dude. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I think all kinds of remote controls. Oh, yeah, it got a little bit of a rock box on it. That so rock guard is nice. Oh, yeah, it's gonna save our, our sluice box. And I think we'll be able to push more dirt through this than we would anything else. All right, see you back there. Bye. Bye. I need time to think about this half million dollar purchase. Hey, brother, you on the radio? Yeah. 
What happened? We need a... Oh, nothing's happened. I mean, we just need to talk. So you remember those drilling samples we took a while back? And how that back dirt pile was better than this front dirt? Yeah, that back corner back here. Yeah, that one back corner. So I think what we need to do... So we can maximize our profits for a little bit, because it, it's... Winter's supposed to set in next week. Like, it, it is the mid... It is almost time for winter time, and we got a week left, dude. So we need to get that back corner dug out first, so we can hopefully last through the winter, so we can come back next summer and start mining. What do you think? Yeah. So if we're going to do... The... I mean, figure it this way. If... We don't leave here with at least a hundred grand. We ain't gonna be able to afford to come back. Mm -mm. But we also need equipment for next year as well. And if we want to go a little bit bigger next year, it's gonna take a little bit of equipment. Oh, it's gonna take a lot of equipment. Exactly. So what we need to do is we need to get this down there to that side as well, and we need to get the new conveyor belt here onto that other side. A hundred or something thousand dollar conveyor belt so we can go ahead and knock the rocks off of it. You know what I mean? Yep. And then what we could do is we can have you with the semi, not the semi, you with the dump truck come back over here and pick it up. Yeah, like continue dumping in there. What do you think? Well, how good are you in this excavator? Uh, I'm pretty decent. Why? Do you want to run the excavator? Uh, no, nah, I'm not that great. I can drive it around, but that's about it. Alright. Uh, then I guess I'll be the one that drives it. I was going to use the skid stairs for a little bit to load it in there for right now. Uh, my only worry is, is that the skid stairs aren't going to be able to reach into the dump truck. Well, they're not, they don't got to. This or, is all the skid stairs got to reach into. And then we're going to load the dump truck with that? Yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead and dump it in there. Are you able to? We'll see. Nope. If it's not one promise, another. Good Lord. So now. Okay. So just so y'all understand, ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing with right now. We're done with an issue where, okay, we got it where we can unload it into here. That's great. So now we have a loading way into this. But now we have an issue where we can't load into this with our truck. So now we're paying for a dump truck that we can't use. Let's leave that there for a second. Let that run. We got to head to the store as much as I don't want to. It's already going as it is, so we might as well go spend some extra money on getting our system set up properly so we can get the gold out faster yeah because right now we're just we're not efficient enough no we are not here drive for a second buddy nate let me drive Alrighty, alice i went ahead and did us a favor and i went ahead and ordered us the conveyor belt so it should be sitting up there when we get there how many conveyor belts we don't want to talk I, I, i've seen this guy on youtube who bought a bunch of conveyor belts and then his guys then proceeded to haul them all on semis very unsafely. So, can't remember who that was exactly, but. I don't know who that was either. <laughs> all I know is this may not be too safe what we about to do. Oh, God. Don't worry, I took out an insurance policy on you. You'll be fine. Hold up, you took out an insurance policy on me? Huh? How much am I worth? Don't ask that. <laughs> Only one and a half million. Uh, I'm gonna go swim in this freezing water. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, jump out of here before you do that. So somebody can collect it. Oh yes. All the conveyors we shall ever need. Where are you going, buddy? There we go. 
There's the first one. Now we just gotta load up these others. Way too many to do, but hey, we'll load them up. I mean, this ain't that bad. Maybe I should get... How about I say this? Make sure everything gets strapped down real fast. Yeah, there we go. Um, It'll be fine. Hey, Alex. What? Here's the keys. Nate. Here you go. Here's your opportunity. I'm getting ready to get back to the lower 48. Here's your opportunity, buddy. You always whine and cry about not about not being able to drive. Here's your here's your chance. We'll see how pristine it is. And Timber! <laughs> and for once it wasn't me! It's the leaning tower of No you don't. Oh, it quit. <laughs> Number two. There it goes. <laughs> Jesus. And three. Right. Well, we made it here in one piece. Um... All we gotta do now is get all this unloaded, get a get it all built, and uh, yeah, time to use the skid steer. Start slowly but surely unloading these. All righty, Alice is going down there to the bottom, and we ended up spending a lot more conveyor belts. We thought that the original hundred grand we spent was gonna be worth it. Oh my lord! I think we easily spent three hundred k on this alone. Alice, you ready? Yeah, fire her up. Oh, there she goes. She's a feeding. She's a feeding? Oh, yeah. She's a picking into here. And she's just going to take it all the way over here. And we're only to here so far. That's the one problem with conveyor bus. It's going to take it a minute. And, yep. and she's a going. We have our first official automation set up. Holy snakes, that's a lot of belts. That is a lot of belts. That's a lot of pay dirt being moved at one time. Oh, yeah. And as long as we keep moving this little conveyor around, we should have this little top section pulled out by no time. I know it's not going to produce the best gold in the world, but we just, we really couldn't afford to go all the way to that back corner. No, not right now. No, we, we just couldn't afford it, so I would rather just do this front corner and help push it along so that but surely. But, I mean, we, we got a conveyor belt finally going. Yeah. And apparently we walked away too soon. What do you mean? Um. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I need you down here at the uh, sluice box ASAP. That's not good at all.